Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix SIM not valid on your iPhone. You want to follow these steps to fix it. Now, generally, if you're seeing this, it could mean a couple things. First thing that it's most likely is that the phone is carrier locked and you need to get it unlocked from the previous carrier, basically the original carrier this phone was on. Now, one quick way to check this is by going into your setting and then going to general and then about and then right here is the carrier lock option if it says no sim restriction that means the phone is unlocked which means you can use it on most carriers now if it says sim restriction or sim locked that means you cannot use it you can only use it with the original carrier usually the carrier will be listed as well so you need to activate it on that carrier so again either get it unlocked or use the same carrier that you're using. Now, if you're still getting it, uh, the other thing you can do is maybe if it's an issue with the SIM and you know it's unlocked, just if you have physical SIM, usually on the left or the right, you're gonna take the SIM card out and just put it back in. So here, this one has a physical SIM. I can take this SIM ejector tool or a paper clip, just basically punch, push it in, and then it pops out the SIM card, right? And then all you do is just reinsert it back in same exact way and that will reinitialize the SIM card and then you should get service. So that's gonna be one another thing that you need to do. Now, if you're still having issues, the next thing you also wanna do, going back in the main setting is in your cellular, if you're using two different services or trying to add two different profiles, you need to remove one of them, especially if you are traveling and you find that you maybe added a SIM card and you don't need it any longer, just remove that existing one and any profile. The other thing also could be that if you're using a physical SIM card, the SIM card can be damaged that we showed you. You might need to replace the SIM card as well. Let's say you did all this and your phone might be unlocked. You may need to update the phone uh, carrier settings. So in your settings, go to general and then about and wait on this page for about 10, 15 seconds. You might get a pop-up that says carrier update available and you can click on the word update. Now, if you don't see anything like I'm not seeing anything because I already updated just move on to the next step, which is gonna be starting from the setting. This time we're gonna go general, software update, and you wanna go ahead and update the phone software. The reason why it is, maybe if you're running an older version, your phone might be locked, but it is unlocked, it doesn't recognize it, so you need to go update the phone setting. Now after you have done that, the next thing you wanna do is in your settings, go to general, and scroll down where it says transfer, reset, iPhone, tap on that. Click on reset and you're gonna do a network setting reset. Then put your phone's passcode. Basically a network resets the default network setting. This will not delete any of your data, but important step to do. And finally, if none of this is working, you're gonna follow this step here. You're gonna quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then just hold on to the side button just like that. And we're gonna wait for the screen to go completely black before we let go of that side button. So as you can see here, I'm gonna wait here and let go. This will not delete any of your data. It's known as a force restart, which forces the phone to completely shut down and reload the code. If it doesn't work the very first time, try again. Again, quickly pressing and releasing volume up, volume down, and then holding on to the side button. Now after you have done that and you're still getting that error message SIM not supported, right? What you need to do is contact your carrier. Sometimes they need to, they might have said that they unlocked it, they might actually have not processed the unlock on their end. In that case, they can help you or your new carrier, if you have it, make sure that they activate your, your if you have an eSIM card or your physical SIM card, they activated your line, your account is good standing, and then they need to configure that on their end. So those are going to be fixes. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.